Oh man, my Polaris Sportsman 700 twin with the carburetor has ignition problems. The guy told me it had a Ducati engine. I don't know why uh, why it's got some problems. Oh man, what? I'm Admiral Ignition from RM Stater. I see you're having problems with your Sportsman 700 twin. Yeah. That is actually a Ducati ignition system, not a Ducati engine, and they're well known to fail. The solution is RM Stater's RM22957 DC ignition conversion kit. Why don't you plug that in? It'll solve all your ignition problems. <laughs> Gee, thanks, mister. Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stater. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the Sportsman 600 and 700 twins. Um, for the 700s, they must be carbureted uh, as far as what we're going to talk about here. 600s, uh, this fits all of them from 02 to 06 for these models. Um, what we're going to talk about is the ignition systems on these. And we're also going to show you how to install our RM Stator ACE ignition kit. This is the RM22957 ignition system. It's a DC conversion kit and it includes a uh, um, uh, ignition coil, CDI box, and wiring harness and mounting hardware. So it's everything you need to completely upgrade upgrade the ignition on these models. does require a good working charging system and a good working pulsar coil from your stator for the timing signal. Now these uh, Sportsman twin models had two different ignitions used on them um, and we've seen both of them installed across the whole range of these from 02 to 06. Um, there was one made by Ducati and one made by Kokusan. Uh, the Ducati system was more common. Um, it's an AC powered ignition so it relies on a coil on the stator, a source coil, to provide power for the ignition system. It also uses a uh, combined CDI and coil unit um, that's made by Ducati. Um, the, that system is well known for failure um, and what fails on it is uh, the source coil here on the stator fails that powers the system and then the Ducati ignition coil box itself fails as well. Um, the other uh, Kokusan system um, is a DC powered, a battery powered system and um, I don't think they were particularly reliable either but we don't make parts for them and we're not really going to be discussing them here. So what we're going to do first is look um, up front under the access panel on the quad uh, to identify the Ducati ignition box. You need to make sure that we're using or that we have uh, the right system on here that our parts will replace. So we're going to go up to the front, we'll show you what to look for. You need to check this first and be sure that our system and our stator and regulator are the replacements for the style ignition that's on your quad. So we'll get started there. Alright, so we have uh, the access panel off the front here so we can see everything. Um, the front panel is accessible by removing the tray or the um, storage tray, I guess you call it, that's mounted up top here with some Torx T27 bolts. And then uh, we need to slide the mount and the bumper uh, piece out of the way. Um, that is mounted with some 13 millimeter uh, bolts. So I've got all that removed, tilted forward, just held with a strap because we have a winch uh, cable attached up there. And, um, and then I've popped the plastic access cover out of the way. So it just slots in at the top here and it's got one slot at the bottom. So with all that stuff removed, we can see the electronics here. Um, this is what we want to look at. So you can see here, this box um, is the Ducati ignition box for the Ducati system that our parts work with. Um, you can see it actually says Ducati, it's upside down here, but it actually has Ducati molded into it, so it's pretty easy to tell. Um, you can also identify that it has the spark plug wires coming out of each side opposite each other, kind of in a T shape, um, and they run down to each cylinder, and it's mounted up here to the firewall, kind of. So it's pretty unique. Um, if you know what you're looking for, you can easily identify it. And if you do have this, this is what our parts replace. Now I don't have the exact parts for the Kokusan uh, DC ignition but I have some parts that look fairly similar to them so I'll show you these as an example. Um, the uh, the Kokusan DC system that again our parts do not replace um, look like this. There's a separate CDI box and a separate ignition coil. The thing about the Ducati system is it combines both those functions in one box. Um, Again, these aren't exactly right, but the CDI box for the Kokusan system is kind of a rectangle like this. It has some little mounting ears on the bottom, and it has a large connector with uh, probably 10 wires or so coming into it. So this is just a, kind of an example, but it gives you an idea. The ignition uh, coil for the Kokusan system looks kind of similar to this. It's about this shape with a mounting bar in the middle and two plug wires exiting it. But again, there'll be two totally separate components if you have that system. So make sure you do that check first. Our parts will not work to replace these. And this is the guy we're looking for for this system. Now we're going to go ahead and install our 
uh, DC ignition conversion kit. So to get started, we need to remove the Ducati ignition box up here. Um, it's mounted with, uh, I believe, Torx T25 uh, bolts on both sides. So we're gonna remove those. We're gonna unplug our stator connection and both of these guys. And then we're gonna um, go back and unplug our spark plug wires um, and route them back up here because we need to reuse these with our new coil. So we're gonna get that done. And then we're gonna get our new uh, CDI box and coil mounted up here in the front. We include the mounting hardware. So we'll get that mounted and then we'll have uh, um, everything in place and we can show you how to make the connections for the new harness. Okay, so we have all the components of our DC ignition kit installed. Um, we mounted our CDI box right down here to the front crossbar. Now, if you don't have a winch installed and a winch relay on the crossbar uh, frame member here, this is an easier spot to install, is just flat on top here. Um, but we have a large winch relay in the way. So we have it mounted uh, on the front of the crossbar with a, a nut and bolt and a zip tie on this side to hold it. So that's a good spot. It's out of the way of the radiator um, overflow hoses um, and still has easy access. Okay, so CDI box is there and we have our CDI connectors that are part of the harness. Um, it's pretty obvious which is which. They only plug in one way and they're keyed, so you can't get them wrong. Um, make sure you use the dielectric grease uh, that we include and you can put it inside the connectors here and then uh, you plug them in and that'll spread the dielectric grease um, over the terminals and helps prevent any corrosion in the future. So it makes for really good long-term connections. So I've got these guys plugged in until they snap and the lock is in place. Okay, so the CDI box connection is done. Now if we trace up here, we'll see where we mounted our um, ignition coil. So the ignition coil is mounted with included self-tapping screws and standoffs. You need the standoffs to kick it out away from the um, kind of frame piece here so the coil will clear. Um, you basically just drill, you can drill a small pilot hole or you can use the self-tapping screws themselves. And we picked up um, one of the original mounting holes at the top here and we drilled a new one in the bottom. Um, be really careful when you put these in that you look, there's a gap in the gas tank that where it kind of recesses a little bit behind the steering neck and that's the perfect place to run your screws. Um, you got to be really careful because you can damage the gas tank and you could puncture through and hit it. So you definitely don't want that to happen. Just be careful when you're installing your screws. So we took our spark plug wires um, off of the original uh, Ducati ignition box and we screwed them in to our new coil. So it's real simple to do. They just, there's a screw tip inside and you kind of screw the cable on and it'll bite into the screw tip. Um, we cut off about half an inch of wire from our old cables to make sure we got a really good connection. And then we have uh, our wiring harness here with the kit that plugs onto the two male spade terminals that are part of the ignition coil. One is an orange wire, one's a black wire. It does not matter which one goes to which side, they can go either way. So we've got both of those guys plugged on at the top here. Okay, and then if we look over this way, we'll see the black wire from our harness and it's run up here and grounded. The black wire has a ring terminal on it. It goes to this frame ground where all the other brown wires from your harness are attached. So you can see ours run up and it's attached at the back of that bundle. Okay, so we got our ground done, we have our CDI done, we have our ignition coil done. The only other thing is our switched hot power source. This is how our ignition system gets power from the battery. If you look over here, we're at the front of the quad, you'll see that there's a bundle of red with a white stripe wires, there's three of them, that are already crimped together into a connector. So if you look closely at it, it's actually a female spade connector. Let's see if we can get a good zoom on it. So these three wires are on the switched hot circuit, so whenever the key's on, this circuit's alive. Um, what we can do, our kit includes a red wire that you'll see with a label on it. If you zoom back a little bit, you can see it says 12 volts uh, to the battery, I believe, or 12 volts with the key on, something like that. So we have a label on it to tell you it's the switched hot power wire. That wire, we put a male spade terminal on it so we could reuse the uh, original connection. So we have it plugged in, we're going to put a piece of heat shrink over it and seal it up so it can't come loose, but that's a real easy way to do it. You can also crimp it into that bundle or you can um, solder the connection, whatever works best for you. Um, the only other connection here is from our stator. 
Now, if you remember, the um, old CDI box had two connectors from our stator, one with a two-wire plug and one with a three-wire plug. So our system no longer uses the source coil from the stator to power the ignition system. That is this three-wire plug from the stator. So with this setup, this is loose. We just tuck it out of the way. It is no longer needed or used. What we do have to plug in is the two wire, the red and black wires coming from our stator, have to plug into the mating connector on our ignition kit harness. And you'll see it has a label on it that says trigger plug. That's uh, what we generally call a pickup coil down at the stator. Okay, so with that plugged in, I've got everything kind of zip tied up nicely and our wires routed. Um, so that's it. It's really a pretty simple installation. and. Um, it solves most of your ignition problems with this model. So I'll fire it up real quick. Let's see how quickly this thing starts with the new ignition kit. So one thing you'll definitely notice with this is improved cold starting. It's really a big difference uh, over the original Ducati system and it fires up instantly. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Uh, make sure to uh, like uh, our channel and, and subscribe so you get the updates on our latest videos. And uh, leave a comment. We try and keep an eye on them and answer you. Um, and if you want to see any new videos, any particular installation uh, videos for any of our parts, let us know because we're happy to film them for you. And uh, we really want to encourage you guys to be able to install these parts in your own garage.